All right, you're good to go. All right. Hi, everyone. It's Coach Lauren. We're going to start kickboxing, Muay Thai kickboxing. Um, I'll be coaching this class Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. Um, for the next few weeks. So join on in. Hi. Um, oh, there you are, Katie. I couldn't see your face. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, so yeah, we'll um, we'll get started. Um, so we're gonna start with it's going to be. Can y'all hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Cool. All right, we're gonna do two three minute rounds for the warm up. <coughs> So we're gonna start with jumping jacks, and then we're gonna go into high knees and squats. Um, so I'll let you know what, when to switch, but that's gonna be what we're gonna start with. We're gonna do about 30 seconds each and go through twice. All right, so starting with jumping jacks, and go. squats. squats. Also, with the burpees, I want you to jump 
and do a push up and then jump. Okay? So we'll do the same format going through those three exercises twice. So starting with the inch one and go. All right, going into lunges. And burpees. Hey, by the way, you can have them talk if they want, but they have to unmute and mute after they're done talking. So they're gonna do that. Okay. Good job. Keep going. All right, back into the inchworm. And reverse lunges. And burpees. All right, time. Nice job. Shake it out. Right, we're gonna do a couple more things to warm up our legs. We're gonna work, be working round kicks today. Um, so we're gonna do the hip circles. Out on each leg. And yeah, join me on this one. You do a couple in, circle in on each leg. And then warm up our hamstrings. We're gonna do the toy, sh toy soldier. So opposite um, hand to opposite toe, just kicking in front of you. We'll do 10 each leg, so 20 total. All right, nice job. All right, we're gonna get into um, a short shadow boxing round. So it's just gonna be uh, two minutes and we're gonna gradually add in each of the techniques. So starting with punches only. So feel free to put your gloves on if you want. 
or you don't have to, whatever is up to you. All right, I have the timer. I'm going to set the timer for two minutes, and um, I'll just let you know when to add in the new techniques. Okay, so we're starting just with punches, good stance, moving around, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, simple two, three punch combinations. Okay, starting with that. All right, let's go. Get some uppercuts in there, some body punches, double jabs, some overhands. Go ahead and add in elbows. Make sure we keep that other hand up when we're throwing elbows, protecting our face. Looking good. All right, go ahead and add in knees. Good balance on the knees. Try and keep that toe pointed. Make a nice sharp spear with your knee. Teeps, right? Bringing that foot out of the box, straight out, back in the box. All right, time. Nice job, everyone. Good work. All right, so. We're going to do five rounds, uh, two minutes each. And after every round, we're gonna have like just a quick burnout um, push ups, or I'll let you know what it is, but you can expect that after every round. So, this first round, we're gonna be working that, um, those round kicks in the air. Uh, so, if you have a bag, that's awesome. Just use your bag. If you do not have a bag, um, we're going to start it kind of slow, so I want everyone to get this technique down. If you can do a round kick in the air with no bag, you're going to be able to do a round kick really, really well on the bag. Um, so first, you're welcome to kind of walk through this with me. Um, make sure your hands are up. I'm in my stance. My lead leg is forward. Um, I've got the weight. The weight, I'm going to be shifting into my lead leg, okay? When I'm throwing my rear round kick, I end up with all the weight on my lead leg, right? Throwing this in the air, I need to act like I'm, I'm taking a step and all my weight is on this lead leg. So that's what we're gonna do first. Just stepping that lead foot out just a little bit, like it's at 12 o'clock now, just step it to 10 o'clock, right? Step it to 10 o'clock and then put all your weight on that leg. Le um, let that rear leg leave the ground. So just this right now, really stepping. Keep that heel, my heel is off the ground. All right, make sure you got good balance, good core control here. Once you're comfortable with that, pretend like you're throwing a tennis ball from your hip. So I'm just gonna do a little hip. I'm not moving my leg really at all here, it's just my hip. I'm just popping that tennis ball out of my hip. All right, and this is happening when all of my weight, 100% of my weight, is now on my lead leg, that's when I'm doing that little pop. Right? If you have this down, this is the hardest part. Just getting that 
control. We're getting ready to throw the kick. All right, so you're welcome to stay here when we do these kicks in the air. You're welcome to just step and do that little pop. That's fine. If you wanna add the whole kick into it, I'm just letting my hip lead with this pop and then I'm letting the rest of my leg follow. Okay, so all the way around, give it that pop, all the way around. Good, good Katie, looks good. Awesome, Allie. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna start this round with just two slow round kicks. Okay, so good control. Shh. Landing in my stance. You can do this lead leg check at the end. Shh. Two really good slow and controlled round kicks. And then we're gonna do jab, cross, hook, cross, jab, cross, hook. Okay, kind of get the arms moving and help us to not get so dizzy on these. So this is the round. It's gonna be two slow controlled round kicks. Jab, cross, hook, cross, jab, cross, hook. And then just re repeat the combination. All right, on three. One, two, three. Awesome. I can start my timer, two minutes. All right. And remember, if you're watching on Facebook Live, you're welcome to just stay here, especially if you don't have as much space, or you can go all the way around. Check at the end. Just do two kicks, get into the punches. All right, so this next round, we're gonna get into the switch kick. Um, do the same thing with the switch kick. We're gonna do two slow, slow and controlled switch kicks. Um, this is really a good time to be working on your switch. So remember when we do the switch, it's just a quick step back, step forward, right? And if you have anything on your floor that you can mark or a wall to make sure that we don't be, we're not stepping too far back, I really want my lead leg going just to my, where my rear leg is right now. Okay, so just a little step back and then my rear leg comes forward, All right? So you can work your switch, take it slow at first and then you can speed it up. And we're gonna do the same thing with the switch kick. So I step backward, I step forward and then I'm just doing a little hip pop here. 
Just trying to throw a tennis ball from my lead hip now. If you squeeze your glutes, uh, squeeze your core, that's gonna help with balance. And again, when we're doing this in the round, you're welcome to just keep it here. Doing this is gonna build so much muscle memory and you're gonna have really powerful kicks when we get back into class. Um, and if you ever get too dizzy, you can always just come back to this one. Okay, so um, otherwise we can do the full kick. So switch, we're doing that hip pop still, but we're bringing our leg all the way around. So the hip leads and the leg follows. All the way around. Good, good. Awesome, all right, so we're gonna start this round with two slow switch kicks, whichever way you wanna do it. If you wanna stay here, that's fine. If you wanna go all the way around, that's fine. Um, and then at the end, or after the two switch kicks, we're gonna come around, cross, hook, cross, hook, cross, hook. Okay, so switch kicks, two switch kicks, cross, hook, cross, hook, cross, hook. All right, on three, one, two, three. All right, two slow switch kicks, slow controlled. Cross hook, cross, hook, cross hook. Nice job, awesome. I was waiting for somebody's camera to freeze in like midair. <laughs> Good job. All right, so this next round, we're gonna be working the lead teep into the rear kick. All right, so we're in our stance, hands up, bringing that lead teep up. Remember, the knee comes up and then out. And we wanna have enough control that we can step this teep down wherever we want it. So if I know I'm gonna be going from the lead teep into the rear kick, then I want to teep and then step my foot out, just like I would for my rear kick. All right, so I wanna have good control here. Teep, step the foot out, come around for the rear kick. All right, so teep, and then you can check at the end of the rear kick. All right, so 
Cheap, step out, rear kick, check. Again, if um, you're having trouble with the full ground kick or you're getting dizzy or you don't have enough space, you can cheap and just do that hip pop. Cheap, hip pop. Okay, uh, so we'll do the lead cheap to the rear round kick and then we're just gonna do jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook afterwards. Kind of get ourselves centered, throw some punches, and not be so dizzy, right? So lead deep, rear kick, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook. And throw in some head movement there. Make sure we're moving around a lot on this one, All right? On three. One, two, three. All right, lead deep, step it out, rear round kick. Check, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook. Right, move around, move the head. Nice job, looking good. Good, you can think about throwing that teeth to the hip, throwing it to the chest, or even up to the face. And time. I can, but for this drill, I want to place it forward. 
Okay, so we're gonna step it out just like we would for the switch kick. So rear push kick to that uh, lead leg round kick. Yeah, good. Again, on this one, it can look like this. Um, or you can do the full kick. All right, once we come back around, hook, cross, jab, hook, cross, jab. Okay, so we're reversing the order. Yep, exactly. Come around, hook, cross, jab, hook, cross, jab. All right. All right, on three. One, two, three. All right, so we got our rear push kick, step forward, that lead round kick, hook, cross, jab, hook, cross, jab. Try and get your balance as fast as you can after that round kick and throw those punches. Good, good, looking good. Good, strong teeps. All right, nice job. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> so this is gonna be our, the last round of technique. So this round, we're gonna be working the alternating teeps. Okay, so I want you to focus on um, really good technique here, bringing the knee up, out, and back to your chest and down each time. Um, practicing good technique that way, you also get a better workout. Um, Keeping everything nice and tight, all right? So it's gonna be lead teep, rear teep. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Lead teep, rear teep. Uh, jab, cross, hook, cross. Okay? Feel free to move around and um, throw some other punches in there if you want. Go and mix up the hands a little bit, but I do want lead teep, rear teep, good control there. All right, on three. One, two, three. Lead teep, rear teep, jab, cross, hook, cross. Move around, keep the hands up, move the head. Shh. Step with each punch. Shh. 
You can vary the speed and the, the timing of those punches. Mix it up a little bit. Grab a drink if you need one. And it wouldn't be my class without core, so we're going to do five minutes of core. Um, so I got to put a mat down just because I'm on concrete here. All right, so we're gonna start with um, mountain climbers. I set my timer. All right, so let's start with mountain climbers and then I'll let you know when we're gonna switch it up. All right, on mountain climbers, make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips stay low. All right, this is what makes them hard. If you start to go up like this, when my butt's up in the air, then they get easy, right? We want it to be hard. So, shoulder back, knee, bring your knees up. All right, start with these mountain climbers. Go. All right, coming back on your butt for a Russian twist. All right, so feet up, knees together, touch each side. Good job, keep going. So a few more seconds of this. 
All right, swing around into a plank, plank on your forearms. Again, here, try and keep the hips low, core engaged. We're gonna walk up to our hands. And walk down. Walk up. Walk down. Walk up. Good job, good job. All right, we're gonna take a quick breather. So just shoot the hips back into downward dog. Just gonna take a quick breather about halfway through. Next thing we're gonna go into is V-ups. All right, so back on your butt. Um, you can turn these into rowers if they get hard, but we wanna try and keep the knees straight and touch your toes. Yeah.